C Y M I. Why did we not arrest Tunubu? EF Sosa Chairman Bawa opens up. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EF Sosa Chairman Abdul Rashid Bawa, said the All Progressive Congress Chief Ting Tunubu cannot be arrested at the moment as the commission is still investigating him. Bauer implied that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission would be accused of doing a media trial if it goes ahead to make an arrest while investigations are still ongoing. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission boss also addressed a question regarding why a petition filed against the All Progressive Congress leader has not been acted on. Abdul Rashid Bawa, the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, says the national leader of the All Progressives Congress APC, Bola Metunambu, is under investigation. Bawa made this known in an exclusive interview published by this day on Sunday, June 20th, 2022, adding that an investigation does not end in a day. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission boss reportedly requested for the access declaration form of the governor, the former governor of Lagos, when he was the head of Lagos General Office. Asked about the update regarding the request, Bawa said, In the interview, which has also been part published by Daily Trust, you asked me a question earlier about arresting people before investigation, and now you are saying why didn't you arrest Tinubu? Why didn't you just say arrest him? Investigation is ongoing. When you're investigating matters like this, they don't end in a day. Thousands of investigations are going on on a daily basis. You understand? You know you are from the media. After you will say we are doing the media trial. Petition filed against Tunumbo. Bawa was also asked why nothing was allegedly done about a petition submitted against Tunumbo by a former managing director of Alpha Beta when Ibrahim Mago was the head of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission and if he would take it up now that he is the commissioner's commission's chairman. His response, well, petitions are normally investigated based on their own merit. Every petition that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, receives, we have what is called petition vetting committees in all zonal offices. So, of course, the zonal head and the chairman have the discretion based on what is the assessment of the petition. On these committees, we have lawyers. We have investigators that will sit down and review all petitions and advice. Some, they reject because they are civil in nature. You know, they communicate that that's to the petitioners or complainant, and some, they will advise for investigation and for a look at the allegations contained, and those will be assigned for the appropriate action. Any petition that comes, based on its own merits, it would be treated. Ask why the petition has taken two years with no action on it, but what said the investigation can take up to 30 or 40 years to complete. He added, so it is not an issue that you're feeling that an investigation has taken two years, it's taken four years or five years. After all, the lawyers will say that time does not run out on criminal investigation. Somebody can be investigated on an action that he did 30 years ago, 40 years ago. APC Chief Tenoji Kalo to face prosecution again. Meanwhile, in other news, Bawa has vowed that the commission will prosecute a former Abia State Governor, Oju Kalo, all over again. Kalu, who is now a seventh senator, was set free by the Supreme Court on technicalities after being convicted of stealing billions of naira when he was Abia State Governor between 1999 to 2007. Without addressing the substance of the case, the Supreme Court ruled that a trial judge had found him Guilty had been elevated to the appeal court and should not have ruled on the matter. However, Bala stated that the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission is determined to continue prosecuting cases no matter how long it takes. Hmm. Well, 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 what do I see here? I smell corruption. I smell corruption all over the place. I don't know about you, but certainly I know what I smell and it smells like corruption. All right. No nation can survive the level of corruption in Nigeria. The level of corruption in the all-progressive Congress can collapse any country, no matter the size of the economy. The all-progressive Congress is a government where corruption is done right in the corridor of the leader. 
If Nigeria is destroyed today, Tinubu or the All Progressive Congress will not be blamed, but the people who have the PVC and do nothing. Nothing makes a man so stupid than campaigning for Tinubu or APC with the condition of Nigeria today. Mr. Samson, your piece is an understatement. It's a tick will be going to perform wonders given the track records. Or it's all like Obi or Prodigal Son like Atiku. Please shine your face. Hmm. Where is your fact that APC is corrupt? Show us figures and data that make you see APC is corrupt. We will not listen to them see. Show us the foundation and indicate APC. Okay, we will not listen to them see. Now, please, this is not the matter of them see. Nigerian debt has tripled under the APC's at this current APC administration. What cost it? We cannot point that this is what we use the money is for. Ordinarily, you're supposed to be like me, I've been suggesting, that people are supposed to be held accountable. Whether you're giving somebody 5 million naira, each kobo in that million naira should be accounted for. If it is not accounted for, then problem. And I think it is because people do not, not told to give account and people are not held responsible for such things. That is why these things continue without anybody saying anything about it. That is just why. Even Peter B should be criminally investigated for breaching the financial and tax laws of Nigeria, including that of the Code of Conduct Tribunal Act, as revealed by the publication of Pandora Papers, which is source for the goose. What is source for the goose should be source for the gander, and nobody is above the law. <laughs> Pandora Papers, on this Pandora Papers issue, that same last year that I heard this issue on Pandora Papers, Obi has actually came out and cleared his name. Except maybe you did not listen to the news then. Yes, Obi has come out and cleared his name and even told you to go and check again. Aren't you reading much sense in the misjudging publication by enemies of P2B that want to bring him down at all costs? Of course, there was no substance in it. All right, anybody with a guilty? My own two cents, making him face the dance of a music. And if they continue to delay, because me delaying an investigation can be done so that the person will not be prosecuted. I hope you know. <laughs> if all this one is done, because what thing I know be say one day we're going to have a Nigeria where if you do anyhow, you go collect anyhow, you go see anyhow. If you do anyhow, I hope uh, you know we are going to have a time where we say if you do anyhow, you see anyhow, you are giving uh, money or you are giving like um, resources or whatever. You are going to be held accountable and you must be responsible for it. All right, in this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy.